I've been feeling pretty shitty over the last few days. So I just wanted to share with you my little bit of happiness that I have in this world. This little pork chop right here. Isn't he just adorable? Say hello, Nofi. I guess like a lot's been going on like emotionally. I just haven't felt like myself, but like that's not really the right words either because I do feel like myself. I just don't. <sighs> this does feel like me. It really does feel like me. And I think that's a really shitty thing because this feels really shit. But that's me. It's really hard to understand that you're normal, that who you have been the majority of your life and who you still are despite actively fighting your mental illness for like over 10 years. That your normal is still this nothing. This, like, who knew you could feel numb and in pain at the same time? Who knew that you could feel like your heart was being ripped out and just fucking put in a blender, but at the same time, you just feel nothing. And I think in a way, when there's a lot of shit going on in your life, it's really easy to blame the feelings that you have on the shit in your life. And when there's like nothing really going on in your life and you still feel shit, you know what kind of means it's you? And I've never wanted to be at fault. I really have never wanted to be at fault. Um, when that soul-crushing reality that you are at fault kind of comes through, that's really hard. And I just, I like, I just feel shitty, but I don't feel shitty for any particular reason. And, you know, it's really annoying. Like, my psychiatrist was saying to me, you're on, like, eight different types of medications. That's a lot of medication, you know, if they're not working that's too much medication we always need to like take you off and put you on different medications but the thing is like they don't work so you know we take one off we try another one and we just keep getting stuck in this cycle and i just really thought that this year would be a lot better and like a quarter of it's gone and the majority of it has been kind of shit but you know i don't even think i know what feeling good or feeling, you know, I know what feeling good is like, that's being manic, you know? I don't know whether it's just like, uh, I'll never be satisfied with being normal after like being manic, or whether it's just like, I'll never be happy. Like, are they really right that who I am as a person is just so broken, so low on self-esteem that I will never find a happy medium where I'm okay with myself, where I'm okay with who I am. You know, it's like, I was thinking and, and I was like, you know, I'm not going to kill myself. But I mean, you know, when you're suicidal all the time, it's like when you hit the panic button, like what is actually the definition of suicidal? For me, there's like, okay, thinking like, I just really wish I wasn't alive which is every day of my life and then there's like okay I'm, I'm actually like gonna do something and I just I don't think people understand what it's like you know like how you can just be like I don't want to live anymore and when that thought popped into my head I was like but I don't live you know I don't live, I survive. I haven't felt alive for such a long time. So I'm not really taking my own life because I don't have a life. I don't have a life that... I don't know. It's just so hard. That's my puppy. 
I'm gonna snuggle him to sleep tonight and Netflix and chill because that's all I can do with my giant Nutella jar and I just really want to be okay and like I'm even at the point now where I'm just like I'm sick of it like okay I'm still taking my medication I just I don't want to go to the doctors like once a week I don't want to see my psychologist once a week I don't want to take like all of these tablets a day and not feel any better You know, but it's easy to get to that point where you're like, you know what, I'm done trying to get better because I'm not getting any better. And then like, you know, you sit back and you realize how bad things are, are going to get, how bad things are just, and you're like, okay, so there's a reason that I do do things like they might not make it all the way better, but they do have some improvement on your life. And I just wish, like, I had answers, you know? I just really feel like I just want to hibernate and just disappear for a while, and I don't think I will really have that luxury, that opportunity, you know? I just want to hide in my hoodie. In my amazingly big hoodie that I just... <laughs> I don't want to get out of that hood. So... I hope you guys are well. This is Northy. I'm going to try to get some sleep like him. I don't know. I don't have many words, guys. I just sort of wanted some company. I could just sit here and watch this little guy sleep for hours. 